afternoon and welcome to Face to Face Worship Center. I'm Minister Tanya Poindexter and I'm delighted that you've allowed me to host your Face to Face God Encounter. Our doors are currently closed due to COVID-19, but once we open them, please come join us any Sunday you'd like. Our services are held at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we're located at 9121 Piscataway Road, Suite 4B, Clinton, Maryland, 20735. Please go to our website at f2fwc.org for additional information regarding our ministry and definitely go to our YouTube channel. There's a ton of word and worship there that I promise you will bless you as we endure these trying times. Now, you don't have to wait till just Sundays to visit with us. I know our doors are closed due to the pandemic, but understand this, ministry is still going forth. You can join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for corporate intercessory prayer. All you have to do is wake up, dial the conference line, 319-527-4008, and I promise you, you will be blessed by the prayers and the praise that goes forth. Again, that's corporate intercessory prayer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, conference line, it's 319-527-4008. You can also join us every Tuesday evening right here, Facebook Live or by our conference line. Again, 319-527-4008 for impactful Bible study. Pastor Tony's big on teaching the word. And if you're at a place where you hunger for the word, you have a thirst for it and you want to learn more what the word really is, how to break it down, how to truly understand it, come join us every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will love what comes forth. Pastor Tony's actually doing a series this month for the month of December uh, entitled Sacred Selfies. Who am I? And this in no way is talking just simply about the selfies that we take with our phones. This is really a series where he's really showing us who we are and who we are in God and who we have called to be. Again, it's called Sacred Selfies. Big question is, who are you really? Yes, it's going to be good. And then you can join us every Wednesday morning, 2.30 a.m. Yes, in the a.m., the wee hours, for uh, because we're on the NOW Network. We've been blessed to be a part of the NOW Network, and we have an opportunity where we can reach over 238 million viewers. That's a lot of people. So join us, 2.30 a.m. on the NOW Network. You'll be fed. I'd also like to offer a special invitation to you to join us on Sunday, December 20th, 1 p.m. right here on Facebook Live as we will be hosting Celebrating the Holiday Season with Face-to-Face -face Worship Center. It's going to be great. It's an opportunity where you'll see a lot of the partners and they'll be offering up seasonal greetings to you from them as well as their friends and their families. And we'll have great music as well as another little artsy piece that I know you'll enjoy. So again, that's Sunday, December 20th, 1 p.m. as we'll be hosting Celebrating the Holiday Season for Face-to-Face -face Worship Center. Now, before we get into the word, Vow is going to take us higher. They're going to do what they always do, which is take us higher, get us a little closer, and get our hearts ready for the word. Now, speaking of the word, today I'm especially excited because my mom, yes, Minister Mary Poindexter, will be bringing today's message, and I am truly excited. If you know my mom, you know she's big on teaching the word of God, so I suggest you get your pens, your pads, notebooks, laptops, whatever it is that you need, because there's going to be a lot of scripture. You know, she gives the scriptures. So get your get ready, get whatever you need, get settled, because oh, I suggest even a fork and a knife, because I can promise you it'll be meaty. Today's message is titled, But God. Now, before Val takes us higher, I ask that you like and share. How about even love and share today's service? Even consider hosting your very own watch party. Now, if you're ready, I know that I am. Val, take us higher.
Minister Mary Poindexter from Face to Face Worship Center, the greatest worship center on earth. I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus, the name that's above every name. And at that name, every knee has got to bow and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, all to the glory of God. Amen. Let us Amen. pray. Father, we come to you in the matchless name of Jesus, the name that's above every every name. Father, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor for being one great God. The great I am. You will be whatever we need you to be, and I thank you, thank you. Thank for you, being the great sovereign God. We thank you for waking us this day, Lord God. We thank you for find, for this day before the earth was even founded. You had formed this day for us, your people, to come together, Lord God, in your name, to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. And I ask you by your divine power, Lord God, to allow me to decrease that your Holy Spirit may increase all the more. Right. Speak, Holy Spirit, speak. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Amen. God. Amen. Today, we're going to be coming from Isaiah, the 26th chapter, verses 2 through 4. I'm going to read from the King James Version, and it reads thusly. It says, Open ye the gates, that the righteous nation, which keepeth the truth, may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. 
Trust ye in the Lord yes. forever. I'm going to say that again. Yes. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Yeah. Anybody out there know anything about uh, bread pudding? Uh -huh. well, that's what we're going to be making today, some bread pudding. Because right. it's some old bread that I'm going to use today. Holy Spirit told me to use this bread from April 2016. So we're going to make a little bread pudding today. Okay. If I was to give this a title, it would be But God. But God. Believe, understand, and trust God. Mm. Has anyone ever had a But God moment? I'm talking to folks today who have been bewildered, unfaithful, and tormented. But when you came through, you now believe, understand, and trust God. Right. But God. I'm talking to those that have had a but God in their life. I believe these six letters may just be the greatest words in the entire Bible. Yeah. But God. But God. <laughs> when we see the word but in scripture, it often introduces the message of the gracious and compassionate intervention of God Almighty on our behalf. Huh? This simple term captures the nature of our God who redeems, resurrects, and makes all things new. Yes, even when it seems like all is lost, and then we hear and see a but God. God. Huh? Yeah, yeah. There are 44 but gods in the King James Version. Mm. Four plus four equal eight, meaning new beginnings for somebody right. through their but God. Ooh, that's good. Stroll with me down memory lane for a few minutes while we put God in remembrance of his word, our roadmap, a.k.a. the Bible. In Genesis 50, verse 20, Joseph told his brothers, but as for you, you thought evil against me, yeah. but God but, meant it unto good. Hallelujah. First Samuel 23, 14 and Saul sought David every day, but God My delivered God. him not My into God. his hand. Yes. Psalm 73, 26, David said, My flesh and my heart faileth, but God yes. is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Mm. Luke 16, 15, mm. Jesus said unto them, You are they which justify yourselves before men, but, but God, God knoweth yes. your heart. Hallelujah. Mark 2, 7, who can forgive sins but God, but God. only, yeah. huh? Acts 13, 29, and 30. They took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher, but God raised him from the dead, My huh? God. Romans 5, 7. But God commends his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mm. Philippians 2, 27. When Aphrodite was sick nine to death, <laughs> but God had mercy on him. My God. If you ask me, the entire Bible is a but God. My God. For the bewildered, unfaithful, and tormented. As born again believers, we have to get to a place of resting in God through Jesus Christ because he is a sovereign God. My God. Yes, he is. That is where you believe that he is the almighty God understanding that he can do anything but fail but, uh, and trust that he will do whatever, whenever, wherever, and however he wants to do. Yes, he will. He's God. Hallelujah. But God, but y'all. God. Yeah. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above whatever we could think or ask according to the power on the inside of us. Um, I'm talking about that dunamis, dynamite power yes. on the inside of us. It's where you trust that God will do it again and again and again. You do know he's a God of an encore, huh? My, my, my. But God. First of all, you have to believe the Bible, not just quote it, what the scripture says, but believe it and stand on God's infallible word. It will not and cannot return it's unto him void. Yes, yes. It will always accomplish where he sends it. Glory to God. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit yeah. you may abound in hope. Yeah. Abound, abound in hope, in believing. Hope. Believe God for whatever you need from him. Mark eleven twenty four says, Therefore, ah. I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, 
Believe that you receive them and you shall have yes, them. Yes, yes. Believe is to have faith in the reality, honesty, generosity of someone. For us, it's believing in God. Proverbs 4, 7 tells us that wisdom is the principal thing. He said, therefore, get, un get wisdom. And with all your getting, get understanding. Yes. Now you believe it now, okay? All right. Now you're going to understand. Understanding is to accept as a fact of truth or regard as credible with absolute certainty. It's where you don't have no doubt. Mm. You get to a place where you don't have no doubt. My God. That's what understanding is. Mm. Of course, I'm not telling you to understand all that God will do because we will never do that. That's right. I'm merely asking you to stand under God, mm. knowing that he can do anything but lie or fail. Mm. In Proverbs 6, 23, Solomon said, For the commandment is a lamp, and the teaching is light, and reproofs for discipline are the way of life. All right. Solomon's daddy, David, said, The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Clearly, God has revealed himself yeah. to us in his inspired word right. that it might give light to our spiritual blindness. Yes. Yeah. For the scripture to give us light, it must be understood properly, then believe and applied in faith. For us to understand the Bible properly, we must have two things. Number one, the revealing work of the Holy Spirit, and two, the proper method of understanding. The revealing work of the Holy Spirit right. and the proper method of understanding. All right. For without the right method of understanding, we are left with uncertainty. Yes. That's why some Christians believe that God and the Bible are mysterious. Mm. And in so doing, they often misquote Isaiah 55, 18 to support their claim. All right. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Well, as with any passage of scripture, the content is... The content, context, I'm sorry, uh -huh. is key to proper interpretation. That's right, that's right. The your in this passage is to those who do not think or act like God. Mm. From the previous verse, Isaiah 55, 7, it says, We find it is the wicked and evil people of the world who do not think or act like God. All right. Yeah. In the very same section, y'all, Isaiah tells us God can be known. Just two verses earlier in Isaiah 55, 6, the A portion, we, we read, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. If God can be found, then he surely can be known. Yes. Mm. All right. It is clear from numerous scriptures that God wants us to know him. In fact, God has revealed himself so clearly through his word, his son in creation, that if we do not know him, we are fools. Mm. Yeah. Now, that's what the word say. I didn't say this. All right. God did. All right. Follow me to Jeremiah 4, 22, the A portion. God says, my people are fools. They do not know me. Mm. God is not in hiding. He has revealed himself for ages and continues to do so every time we read or study his word. All right. Okay. As a matter of truth. We are to imitate Jesus. Yeah. Ephesians 5, 1 tells us there. Be imitators of God. Yes. yes. God wants us to act like he thinks. Mm. Mm. Yeah, act like he thinks. All right. You cannot effectively imitate someone unless you know a great deal about them. All right. And the fact that righteous people are commanded to imitate Jesus shows that we can know as much about him as we want to know by studying, reading, and obeying his word. My God. The only way to get to know God or anyone else for that matter is by spending regular time alone with that person. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29, 29, 13. You will seek me and you will find me, but only when you search for me with all your heart. Yeah. God made himself known to Moses and the Israelites. And because he is an unchangeable God, Guess what? He's still making himself known to us today yes. when we yes. seek him. Yes. Yes. Ephesians 5, 17 tells us, So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of God is. 
The Bible also tells us we do err because we don't know the scriptures or the power of God. That's why it's so important for us to understand what God's will is through his word. Yes. How in the world can you know someone's will if you don't know how they feel or what they have to say about a matter? Mm. We are to trust and believe in the Lord with all of our heart. Yes. He will show up and give us a but God. My God. Yes. Believe is used 143 times in the King James Version of the mm. Bible. In the Old Testament, 19 times and 124 times in the New Testament. And since we are New Testament saints, it is important that we believe in the word and what God has to say about a matter. All right. yeah. Since all of our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I have learned that all things are possible with God and nothing is impossible with him mm -hmm. on this Christian journey called life. All right. yes, yes. We must believe that God is, understand God will, and trust that God can do anything but fail and lie. Mm. We have to trust God. If God said something specifically to you, wait on him. He is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If he promised you something, he is well able to bring it to pass. Uh -huh. Psalms 119, 89 says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Trust God. Besides, it's utterly foolishness not to trust him. Have a but God. Mm. Yeah. I'm getting ready to bust somebody's bubble right about now. I said to trust God. I didn't say have faith. Faith and trust are not the same thing. However, they're interchangeable All right. words, All right. but not the same meaning. Mm. Oh, yeah, I know I just messed somebody up. But listen, faith is the absolute assurance that the things revealed and promised in the word are true. Yeah. Wow. Even though unseen, it's really your belief system. Trust is putting your faith in action. Mm. Mm. Yeah, faith is putting feet on your trust. All right. Oh, my, my, my. Meaning it's always showing, always moving. It's always That's right. action. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. One thing that can be noted about biblical trust that it is always creates further trust in our God. Mm. The stronger your faith, the more you trust God. That's I'm going to say that That's again. Good. That's good. The stronger your faith, yeah. the more you trust God. Yeah. A child of God never stops trusting in God completely. Psalms 37, 24 our faith may be knocked down. We may stumble or we may fall into the worst of sins. But though we stumble, we will not fall. For the Lord upholds us with his hand. Yes. Huh? Yes. The Lord will uphold us Hallelujah. with his hand. Yes. We got to be like Job, y'all. Job had been through so many ups and downs. He probably felt he was on the world's highest and longest roller coaster or yo-yo. My God. Yet he said, though he slay me. Yep. Yet will I trust yeah. in him, huh? Yet will I trust in him. I say, but God. But God. Huh? Yeah. But ah. God. Glory to God. It is by our trust in God through Jesus that we are promised peace. Isaiah 26 through 26, 3. God will keep him in perfect, perfect peace, peace. Yeah. whose mind is stayed on him because he trusts yes. in God. My yeah. God. But God. But God. Trust in the Lord means looking beyond what we can see to what God sees and says because things are not always what it looks like anyway. That's right. Huh? Right. How many times have you thought it was a man or a woman and you get up on them, it's the opposite sex? My, my, things my, are not always my, what it looks my, like. Come on now. <laughs> That's why a but God moment shows up when it doesn't look like what God has promised is coming to pass. My God. Trust God through Jesus for whatever you need. As long as it lines up with his word, my, my, my. there should always be room for a but God moment in your life. We got to trust God no matter what it looks like. Learning the difference between faith and trust is a daily struggle. Yeah. God wants us to trust him for and in all things. By our actions, not our feelings. Yeah. Feelings are up and down. We have to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. We may weeble and wobble, 
or we going to trust God in spite of. Hallelujah. We are saying to God, we trust you, God, in each problem we encounter. We can have faith in God for all things, but learning to trust God for and in all things is another, another matter. That's right. That's right. We need to learn to praise the Lord as much for a closed door as we do an open yes. door. Huh? The reason God closed doors is because he's not prepared anything over there for us. Mm. So stop being mm -hmm. bewildered, unfaithful, and tormented. Yes. But God. Mm -hmm. If God didn't close the wrong door, we would never find the right door. All right. Mm. God directs our path through the closing and opening of doors. Once a door closes, it forces us to change our course. Mm. Yeah. Another door closes. It forces us to change our course again. Then finally, we find the open door and we walk yeah. right into our blessing, yeah. into our destiny. But God, here's how it works. When a problem presents itself, no matter how serious or how small, God already knows about it. Some things only change through prayer, fasting, and believing his word. All right. You may pray to God and tell him you trust him for the problem. But when your prayer is done, you may still feel worried and anxious about it. Yeah. Then you tell God that although you may not feel like you trust him, you're going to act like you do. Mm. That's when your feelings start to line up with your actions. Mm. You must learn to trust God to run our life. We must learn to trust God to run our life, yeah. I should say. Yeah. To make all of our plans, we must trust. That is, believe that he will come through for us. My God. That he will keep all the promises he had made to us, which are yes and amen. And some of those promises include that he will never leave us. That he will be with us in trouble. With long life will he satisfy yes. us. Huh? Yes. That he will provide for us. That he will provide all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Since he owns the cattle on a thousand hills anyway. That he will answer our prayers. My God. But maybe not in the way we want, but they will be answered yeah. because he always knows best. That he will save us and keep us by his divine power. I call it PIC, protection, instruction, and correction. Mm. That he will save our children. That he will give us peace in the midst of a tornado raging in our lives. Because you know what? Some problems are greater than a storm. Huh? That he will go through the tornado with us. Mm -hmm. And when the tornado he brings us through, no matter what it is, just tell God it's his fault. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's already allowed, he's has allowed it to build our character to make us more like him. Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter what happens, we should have no fear because he will fight our battles for us yes, so we can have a but God moment. God does love us in spite of, of us. We must learn to go directly to God and not to man when we have troubles. Because man can't do anything about them anyway. That's right. Tell God that you do trust him with your life. Mm. And he will keep us in perfect peace if we keep our minds stayed on him. All right. You have to act like you trust God and soon your feelings will come under the control of your actions. And you can say like Isaac Carey, every time I think I'm all by myself, I just look up in the sky and that's where I find my help. Huh? Right. Yeah. yeah, you just look up and that's where you find yourself with a but God moment. Mm. You might think that you got it all worked out and you think that everything's okay. There ain't nothing that you've done to deserve his mercy and his grace. He gives us what we don't deserve. Yeah. That's why we say it's amazing grace. All right. Mm. You're about to lose everything but God. Yeah. Now, I know I'm not the only one who's been there. When the doctor said any day, but God. That's right. Mm. Remember, he made the doctor that made the doctor that made the doctor. Come mm. on now. Amen. And the devil tried to test your faith, mm. but God. He thought he really had you this time, but God. Yeah. yeah, but God. Nobody but God. Give me one good reason why you should still be alive. Mm. Just one reason. Mm. But God. Mm. 
That accident you passed last night or today on your way to church or wherever you was, was meant to take your life. Yes. It would have been you in the grave. You could have been with the pain. Glory to God. But God, God. huh? But God. When the judge said 20 to life, should have been calling your name. But God, but God huh? You were about to lose everything. But God. Yes. Glory to God. When the doctor said any day, but God. but God. Then you went back and he couldn't find nothing wrong. But huh? God. But God. Yeah. And the devil tried to test your faith. But, but God. God. But God. Anybody grateful for a but God in yes. your life? Yes. But yes. me? Yes. Huh? Hallelujah. But God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God. Yes. Nobody but God. Just know that there is no situation that you come out of on your own. Yes. God always been right there with you. Yes, Lord. He is nigh unto your lips. Thank you, Lord. I dare you to breathe. Hallelujah. Um, Thank you, Lord. But glory, God. Glory, glory. Might have thought you that you were by yourself, but he was right there by your side. You thought yeah. it was over, but, but God. God. Yeah, but God. Thank you, Lord. Nobody but God. Hallelujah. And to every survivor listening, Who's ever been counted out and even canceled out? I say, but God. But God. Uh, yeah. Of course, we don't like nobody butting into our business. But I right. double dog dare you to let God have a but God in your life. Hallelujah. Uh, when your situation may have looked impossible, and now people are asking you how in the world you made it through what you went through and you don't look like what you've been through. Mm. Mm? Okay. I don't want you to let everybody in on all your secrets. <laughs> I just want you to look at them and give them the short version of your testimony and just tell them, <laughs> you know what? But God. But God. Hallelujah. In essence, face to face, all I've said today is sit down, chillax, and chillax. let God have a but God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I leave you with this. We can have a but God all because of Calvary. Mm. Mm. Believe, understand, and trust God. Yeah. Fret not. God will bankrupt heaven before he sees one of his children go without. Mm. Mm. Man says, show me and I'll trust you. Mm. <laughs> God says, trust me and I'll, and I'll show you. you. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, but you God. But God, I'm going to say it one more time for the Holy Ghost. But God, if you have never accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, today is your day. Harden not your heart, he says, when you hear my voice. If you happen to scroll by our channel this day and you've never accepted Jesus, today is the day. Yes. I recommend and commend this Jesus to you. He's able to save. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor that you do, Lord God. We ask you, Father, by your divine power to trust, to, to touch hearts, Lord God, as only you can, Father God. Bring someone to you, Lord God, this day, Lord God, that will walk faithfully and walk upright before you, God. Those that are trusting you for everlasting life. We thank you, Father God. You said in your word to accept, believe, and trust you and that's what we do this day in jesus name we thank you that we can recommend jesus the great i am he will love you you can worship him he is alive and sitting at the right hand of god waiting for you to come to him make that decision today in jesus name we pray amen wow what an awesome service we pray that you were transformed by today's wonderful worship experience. We're not asking you to help us. Help by partnering with us. Help us to continue to share the love and the gospel of Jesus Christ with this world. You can do so by making a donation. And there's several ways that you can give. You can give via Givelify. Just look for Face to Face Worship Center. Or our cash app, dollar sign F2FWC. Or on our website, that's F2FWC.org. And click the donate link. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel, that's Face to Face Worship Center, as well as Corporate Intercessory Prayer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6.30 a.m., 319-527-4008. Don't forget Bible study, Tuesday evenings at 7.30 p.m. But if you've reached a place 
and you want more information and you want to know more about salvation, as well as you'd like to be a part of this ministry, please send us an email, admin at f2fwc.org. Again, send your email to admin at f2fwc.org. Today was an amazing day, but we know that this doesn't end on today. We look forward to seeing you throughout the week and definitely next week for next week's message and worship. So to you and your families, continue blessings and be safe. We'll see you next week.